Hey everybody! So in this next video, you guys are going to see Beastial and Ravage. They are our only fully animal system members, and because they do not speak, cannot read or write, and are not otherwise able to really communicate other than through vocalizations, I am going to be narrating during the video facts about them and different things that they have communicated they wish to share. So let's get started, everybody. This is Bestial and Ravage co-fronting together, as they often like to do this. Now, Bestial and Ravage are both unable to speak, if you were to compare them to humans in terms of age and their communication abilities, they would be at about the level of a young toddler, able to make vocalizations, but not able to form words. Internally, they communicate with us through pictures that they transfer to us mentally. And these pictures relay simple word thoughts in a way that is able to be understood by us but outside they're not able to communicate in any way that most people would be able to understand, and that's why I'm doing this voiceover. Now, as for what they look like, Beastial, who is female and is half fox and half wolf, appears as a large four-legged creature, approximately the size of a very large wolf, she has the coloring of a fox, specifically a red fox, with a red coat, black legs, black-tipped ears, a white-tipped tail, and red eyes. She also has a cream-colored underbelly. Whereas Ravage, who is male, is her opposite in his coloring. His overall fur is white. His tail is tipped black, his ears and legs are tipped in red, and his underbelly is red, and his eyes are gold. They are essentially each other's mirror image in a lot of ways. Now, while they both have more of a wolf's size, they have more of a fox's face shape. They have the longer muzzle and the larger ears. They're both very keen and very clever. Out here, they tend to come out only in situations where we need to run or fight in order to protect ourselves, as they do not tend to function well in the outside world for obvious reasons. As you can see, Bestial and Ravage are both very animalistic in nature and are prone to moving about on all fours unless necessity dictates that they must stand up, which they do find quite awkward and uncomfortable from what they've communicated to us internally. Now, understand that them appearing to be very animalistic in nature and their inability to speak, write, or read does not mean that they're not intelligent. They're both very, very intelligent and tend to notice things that the rest of us do not. And for that reason, among many, they are extremely valuable members of our system, and we're very grateful to have them. We don't know where we would be without them. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and that you enjoyed getting to meet Bestial and Ravage and learn a little bit about them. If you have any comments, please feel free to leave them below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Have a good day, everybody.